Rare Disease of South Africa wanted to do something for our patients. Um, we wanted to send them something to keep them company while they're in hospital, while they're fighting, while they're being little warriors. And we thought long and hard about it and we wanted to send them something that was rare for themselves, something that you couldn't just pop into a shop and buy. Um, so we got together with Branson Bible Church and Kaya Kids and this is how it all started. We started with about 20 women, taught them how to crochet and now we have seven animals that we sell. So we started with giraffe and then they went into elephants, they went into our um, uh, zebras and all the kind of things and uh, they grew from 20 from 9 to 20 and then to 50 and then we end up with 50 ladies and they were very committed you know like they come they were so much committed into what they were doing it was not only just for them but they were being empowered as well most of these ladies come from like foreigners which they came due to like a, a bad situation back home. Like we have a lot of Zimbabweans, we have a lot of Mozambicans, and then we do have South Africans from Limpopo. So they come uh, because of like coming here, trying to come and find something, like maybe uh, jobs and things like that. And some of them, they come because their husband are here, you know, like they got married and the husband left them back maybe in Zimbabwe in Mozambique. So they are following their husband here and also with the hope of getting a job. But when they come here, there's no job, there's no place, so they stay here in the informal settlement. They are talented like that. By looking at a picture, they are able to be like, okay, this is a giraffe, and they start taking a wool and a crochet, putting it together. At first, they were like, no, we can't, but we encouraged them to try. And they tried, and they knew that now they can make it. It's really amazing because they are so confident in themselves. And for them to make their own money instead of depending on like their boyfriends or their husbands, they are like able to earn something that belongs to them. Two years later, these women are producing the most amazing work, and. It's providing them with an opportunity to be able to put food on the table. So we were really fortunate that um, Oh My Cake had, a, had approached us as an organisation and said that they were wanting to give a cake away this month. And it just so happened that it was in the month of our second birthday. So to really show these women that we appreciate not only the work that they do for us as a community, but them as individuals, we thought we'd give them the opportunity to experience the most outrageous, glamorous cake that they probably never would ever have an opportunity to experience in their lives. And just really to celebrate the fact that this project has managed to survive for two years and not only survive, but also thrive. In a project, and later, because in year 2014, into time, maybe three or four years in a savings. But in a corner, good in season. So, in play, I change. Even a man to make a lake guy. I was a living by a bonny good eye, um, pillow, um, turn, um, we are change. Go on, I can improve. Young good this our look and that's a corner, it was a crush. Marazo 